Yo, what up, y'all? This is Hopeful Hip Hop Podcast. I got my co-host, Buck Raj, and our other co-host, Romeo Navarro. Buck, Buck, in the house. This is Omar, and we're here at the Hopeful Hip Hop Podcast, where we talk everything hip hop, from breaking, DJing, MCing, and writing. Make sure to catch it live exclusively on Ibu. Yo, today we got a special guest for y'all. We got my man, Alex Diaz. Yo, yo, what's good? A.K.A. El Nino. The deal, we here. What's good, bro? How are you, man? Chilling, man. Chilling. Yeah. It's good to be in Austin. Yeah, it's good to, to have you here, Texas man. Texas right now, bro. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, man, El Nino is, is one of the, the, the best breakers in the USA, man. You know, he comes from hip-hop lineage, which is uh, the Floor Lords, which you're currently now the, the president of, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, yes, man. Sir. So, uh, this man, it, it comes from a long lineage of, of hip hop culture, break culture. So, man, we're happy to you know to have you here in Austin with us, man. Word, thanks Chill for having me, yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. So, what's good, man? What's going on? Chilling, bro, man. I just uh, you know I had to come up to to Austin um, and teach a workshop today. So I'm uh, definitely uh, looking forward to like vibing with with the youth here, you know, yeah. and kind of like teaching, and you know, hopefully a lot of them come out and come to my class today you know um but yeah it's it's cool man i just been vibing you know um chilling with the fam a little bit and just practicing uh for nationals the nationals in philly which is next month so yeah dope man yeah dope. ready for that yeah yes, so you're competing then yeah yeah for sure i'm competing so i got a spot in the top 16 uh because i made second place in the new york um, um qualifier so uh you know i'm in the top 16 already so yeah. i gotta qualify you know so just kind of training for that <coughs> trying to stay focused eating yeah, right yeah. the whole nine you know. <laughs> yeah nice. man it'll be hard in texas bro to eat right but we got <laughs> yeah. you man. yeah Barbecue, yeah you, i might i you might cross street up. from stubs bro. yeah <laughs> I, that's what i was gonna say i might slip up today man. get some stubs barbecue today you know <laughs> another 15 cheat day, cheat day. Yeah. Another 15 out. contestants right now just going yes so this, yeah. this, <laughs> this, this, this will be your uh, uh, second time in austin right yeah, yeah yep yep so we as you guys know we came to b-boy city last year with the bc1 squad um so that was my first time in austin but i've always heard great things about b-boy city always seeing the footage always wanted to come never like had the money back then to come um it was kind of a far ride for us a far drive or flight from boston you know so I would just watch it from afar, you know, and see like, I, I kind of like still regret missing like the, <laughs> the rawness of it yeah. back then, you know, but obviously, you know, breaking is moving forward, is moving in a much yeah. more professional direction and, you know, things are changing a little bit, but, um, but yeah, that was my first time and, um, and it was an honor to, you know, actually win, you yeah, know, and yeah, actually yeah. have a B-Boy City uh championship under my belt which yeah. is which is pretty dope so. and it was like after the lockdown man you know what i'm saying after covid you know yeah, there, yeah, there were too many events exactly. happening yeah you know, so it was kind of good was to it, and that was in september mm -hmm. yep september, so that yeah. was like i think i mean that was pretty much uh one of the last things like a great way to end the year yeah. off you know what i mean so that was dope really yeah. dope it was it was a it was a crew on crew battle man right so you guys were rolling deep, the whole man. squad yeah we're doing crew on crew again this year, but you know, speaking of of, of you know keeping it raw, you know, we're, this year we're doing crew on crew, man. But we're we're doing like crew on crew back in the day, so it's open to everyone, man. So all the crews have their their poppers, you know, all their all style dancers, you know, oh, yeah, just yeah. to really open it up, make it more of that party vibe like you're talking about back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so well, we're running know, like, that back, kind of like back in the days when like all the crews had like had some other styles in there there was no like all oh, just b-boys on yeah just yeah poppers, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah so it's yeah. kind of like yeah i, I mean back our crew too like that that was you know that was the definition of a crew yeah you had, you then had was like artists yeah, yeah, like MCs, we had yeah, yeah. DJs, we had graffiti yeah, poppers you know you had everything we had graffiti artists that they weren't necessarily breakers yeah. but they would design our shirts yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying so they would they would put uh d do a little floor lords piece we'd take it from paper yeah scan it on the computer mm -hmm and then like get some shirts done yeah. or or make it into like the little stencils that you can um, yeah. iron Cut out and iron on shirts yeah. I, mean, yeah, I mean kind of so well, um, I'm, I'm old school man so <laughs> like my whole old crew we used to have everybody even people that don't even didn't do anything they're just part of the crew right you right just part of the, the yeah, hype man security yeah, yeah. you know the squad everybody needs a deep, good hype man you know what i mean yeah we yeah roll deep so no, now it's kind of like so we kind of try to bring it back i know there's the olympics and a lot of uh, sports 
competitions that are yeah. happening now. So I think it's up to us, like you know, older guys and OGs to keep the to keep the essence. Yeah, keep, yeah. keep it keep it raw. Keep yeah, that, the that tradition going. That, you know. Yeah, that's a great topic, man. I know before the podcast started, we were actually talking about that already, right? Yeah. So I, that mm-hmm. that's a combo, you know. I think you know I wanted to have with 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 us here, man. It's like. You know, there's a, there's a lot of uh, hype. There's a lot of noise about breaking going to the Olympics, and then you got some people that you know are like, "Yo, it's gonna be commercialized. You know, you're gonna lose the culture. You're gonna lose the essence." I know, I don't feel that way. So, yeah. w- like, how do you feel about that? You know, um, can they coexist? Yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, I'm I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. When I first heard about the Olympics, uh, my first reaction, my first initial reaction was to st- take a step back. Because I was one of those people that was like, yo, I don't know, you know, like yeah. on the fence mm-hmm. about things because, you know, we're very protective of our culture and we've seen it get watered down in numerous different ways. We've seen individuals get played by companies and stuff like that. Yeah. So and, and and within music or breaking as well, we've seen the OGs get played, you know, like everybody talks about, you know, Melly Mel, what yes. Happened yeah. yes. Grand Master Kaz yep. yes. and those guys. So and, and the breakers were like last probably yeah the last <laughs> last last of the yeah. um, yo but we also you know e- I feel like even the MCs and the graffiti artists they feel like we still keep it raw like we still keep yeah. it 100 yeah so it's kind of like it's hard for us you know to let go yeah and mm-hmm. um and just like get a little bit more commercialized if you will but I sat back and then I seen seen who was involved I seen like Storm was involved you know um Moy, you know, Lean Rock did the spun the youth games. So I'm like, okay, like I, I watched the Youth yeah. Olympics, which you was know like kinda people. like the test. You know, and um I think Bumblebee won it and I was like, yeah. all right, like it just looks like what we do now, you know, it yeah. just looked like a jam, like <laughs> a battle, you know, um, and the right people were involved in it. So then that's when I kinda got on board. But then I also thought too, I'm like, yo, you know, the Olympics, it only happens like every four years. In between that, we're still gonna have the raw jams. We're still yeah. gonna have the B Boy Cities, yeah. the Flow Lords anniversaries, yep. the freestyle sessions. So like, you know, I'm like, and, and I also thought about like before, as well as like, I've seen people complain about things about us trying to push the f- culture forward, and then for everything to be okay, like, yeah. for, like in the end, like yeah. for example, I remember when a lot of the skill methods guys were moving out to LA mm-hmm. the skill methods, of course, one of the rawest crews from the nineties. Um, and a lot of people were like upset with the, Oh, they're selling out. You're doing whatever. commercial work. Why are you doing, doing commercial work, whatever. And now you're you getting look, paid mad money. You know, now you look now it's like everybody lives in LA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If that's a, a lane, I just think it's a lane. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's bro. just another lane for you. So we're if adding. you want to, yeah. Yeah. If you want to, like for me, I don't really do a lot of commercial work, but I have done it. Yeah. You know, I have done movies, I have done commercials and stuff like that. That's just another way for me to make a living for my family. Right. You know, yeah. but I'm still like in the breaking circuit. I still compete and doing like mm-hmm. the traveling and, and workshops yeah. and all that. Um, but I just think, you know, with the Olympics, if you don't like it, then throw your own jam. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, do something exactly. raw where well, it's like a concrete footwork yeah, battle yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. You know yeah I mean? so like, like let me let me go back on on you know like when b-boy city first started it's probably one of the war uh rawest events right right and right. um the first i think 10 years i didn't let no media come in yeah. you right. know what i mean because right. i felt like that's how the media destroyed us in the beginning the mm-hmm. ogs you know what i'm saying i thought that we weren't ready they're like how come you don't let news come in there i said we're not ready we're not ready mm-hmm. until mm-hmm. our own people became the media exactly you right know what i'm right. saying we're like, ready. Yeah, yeah. until like now the people that are recording us the media our peoples are in the positions you know right, right, so right. now that i know like okay i can trust these guys right so it took a minute for me to even let marcy come in with the video i said you can't film in here yeah or it's like it took years like it took like 10 years it wasn't until b-boy city nine, nine. i think when she's I let people yeah. in. Mar- like Mar- Marcy, Marcy is uh, inside the circle. Yeah, who, who filmed inside the circle oh, for us? Yeah. You know, but I remember. Yeah. yeah, she started. She started coming to practices before she ever. Yeah, got Yeah, I to told any her events. you can't shoot for a year. Yeah. That so why not? Because they're not. You gotta earn the trust. Right, How do I right. know when to shoot? You will know. Yeah. When yeah. the kids, when the b boys and kids are like posing in front of you, mm-hmm. you know they're not. Mm-hmm. They don't mind you being there. They're not like being. So we're uh, very protective of our culture because what happened to our past. elders yeah. right yeah so 
my first commercial event was the Lords of the Floor, the biggest one I've ever seen. And mm -hmm. that's that's when I kind of first met you. You coming out of the bag when came out. <laughs> oh, oh, we're yeah. not to talk about that. You know what I mean? You you how, long, how old were you then, bro? Like 10? Uh, I had just turned 11. Okay, you pretty much like my yeah. son's age. So, yeah, so, so backstory, that was 2001 or 2001. 2002? 2001. 2001. 2002. It was, uh, 2002. The first Lords of the Floor was yeah. 01. Yeah. yeah, I was there. And that was, yeah. uh, you know, uh, K-Mel and Vengeance, Migas. Uh, they had lost, so K Mel was like pissed. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I don't know, you know, K Mel is like a, you know, the freaking genius in his own mind. He's like a b boy genius. <laughs> yeah. So, so that was his, you know, him and him and Migas weren't really like vibing at the time. They were yeah. kind of like the vibe wasn't there. So he came up with like the genius idea to like enter with me. You know what I mean? And I remember just being like super hyped, like hell yeah, I'll be down. But like in hindsight, looking at it, it was kind of genius because, you know, why would you want to do it with a kid when when you got, what is it, was it top eight? Like top eight yeah. of the best, you know, yeah. you had like yeah. Crumbs and Remind, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Moy and Lil John. You had Moy John. and Lil John. Yeah. Like at that time, this is the best, best in yeah. the world, yeah. you know, in yeah. the U.S., but also like in the world, you know? Um, so for K Mel to like want to do it with a kid, I think he was just thinking like battle tactics. Oh yeah, for he sure. was thinking, oh the crowd is gonna love this yep. kid. They did, <laughs> yeah, uh, they did, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's it what, worked. I it never worked, wanted to battle so, kids. Yeah, yeah. I to this day, I'm like, I'm not bad no kid, There's bro. A lot like, of yeah, a lot yeah. of that's a lose lose Yo. situation. That's like Milky loses a little a demon. Yeah, yeah. We told him, we were like, don't do that. Don't battle him, dog. That was a mistake. That was a mistake for him. Wait, he's doing my moves though. Yo, so 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 back. So take us back, right? We're at Lords of the Floor 2001. It's like one of, it's, it's a, a bigger, like, quote unquote, commercial event that, you know, Red Bull put involved. So yep. you're battling yep. with K-Mail. At this time, K-Mail is like untouchable, right? Like he's, yeah. he's like, he's like the, yeah. the definition of what a, a, a B-boy is, a battle B-boy. He's in the cyphers. He's winning competitions. He's doing everything. You're 11 <laughs> years old, right? How long were you breaking at that time? Uh, so I, I started at six. But like, um, you know, at that time, it's just like learning right. basics or whatever. I think like getting to like competition level, maybe like at least good enough for competitions and stuff. The first competition that I did really well in uh, was um, uh, was uh, Rumble in the Bronx. No, 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 not Rumble in the Bronx. Yeah, I think it might have been Rumble in the yeah. Bronx. Um, I was like eight years old and I made it all the way to the final battle. Wow. Mm. And I Man. I lost to a, it was a three way final battle and yeah, it was yeah. uh, me Vietnam and Incredible Josh. Damn. And so J uh, Josh took it. Josh right. won the whole thing. I think Vietnam got like second and I got third. Uh, so I really counted from there because like at eight, that's when I actually felt like I remember that. Started battling. One. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I think that's when like people in in New York because that battle was in New York. Uh, I think that's when people started like paying attention. You know, to me or whatever. Yeah. So, so yeah. like now, fast forward. Now so you're now you're getting a battle a with with years. KML, yeah. Yeah, with K. I had just turned 11 for that battle. I remember because I want to say it was in like July. My birthday is July 6th. Yeah. It was like a week after my birthday or something like that. <laughs> so I had just turned like 11, and um, and yeah, I I I remember like thinking like, okay, I'm with K. Like I already know K is gonna do his thing. Yep. Like, we know what KML does. Um. But I wasn't expecting to win because I'm like, you know, you got Moy and Little John. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, I was like, we're gonna make it far. We're gonna make it past the first round. But I didn't really know if I had it in me. Right. You know what I mean? But I, the funny thing is, K Mel, I spoke to him the other day, and um, and he said he knew. He said he knew it. He was like, <laughs> yeah, because he felt me as a kid. He was like, he was like, I had no fear. Like in, in battle time, I would do whatever it took. Yeah to win yeah to me i was just thinking like and also like when it did come time to like step it step up and like do what i had to do i freaking just pulled pulled shit out of out of nowhere yeah you know what i mean yeah. like um yeah, i think it, i think in the better. yeah yeah i think in better. the semis or something like that i did like freaking five air flares so that was the first time i ever did it and yeah <laughs> granted, did it, yeah. Had a granted they were like you know kitty hopping sure, kind of sure, air flares sure. yeah, but yeah. i had only like two I had only ever did two of those. So like in the battle, like to freaking yeah. do like four or five or whatever I did, that was just like adrenaline. Yeah. Like so just like it's in, crazy because when, you, when, when you're a kid, right, you just 
you don't reason that risk and reward, I think, as yeah, much, so, right? So You're just like, just go. Like. So at an yeah, event, at right. uh, the size of that event, were you nervous at all or, you know what I mean? Cause uh, you know what? I think, um, funny thing is, I, I wasn't nervous. I don't remember being nervous. Yeah. I just remember being excited. Yeah, you know that's what, I mean? what kids are, man. You, you're like, just excited, like, yo, yeah, I'm just gonna do this, like, <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, if it goes great, like, I'm, I'm a kid. Right. If it goes so bad, I, I, I'm a kid. I, 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 I've been to a lot of events, and, and the, right? Like, and yeah. I've never seen anyone that big ever. I'm, I mean, now, yes, but at that yeah, time, that was, was crazy. Like, yo, it was huge, right? So that was crazy. You know what? It's also too, your kid, you don't really register that. Exactly. I mean, like, I wasn't registering the moment. I didn't register like how big it was. You were just there. Uh, yeah, I was just like, yo. I'm in the moment and I'm battling these ill cats and like I just want to look ill or yeah. I I want to compete, yeah. I want to at least compete on that level with them. So what? what um, it wasn't until like later. Yeah. You know, until you realize like how big that moment but, was. But for me, as far as coming from Texas, uh, getting invited by Circle Fire, John Jay and Bob and all them coming to an event like that, I was like, I saw the future. I was like, oh snap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was like. This is huge. So I, I, I saw the future of breaking. So there I was like, so that's the commercial side of, of breaking. But I don't mind it at all, just as long we stay grounded on what we believe in. You know what I mean? As far as the Olympics and all these other jams, it's just, they're just another platform yep. for us to showcase our talent. Yep. Right. Right? right? Ain't no, right. ain't don't hate on the money. You know what I'm saying? Don't hate on putting people, uh, putting food on people's tables. You know, I'm not gonna hate on that at all. But uh, I'm not gonna forget where I came from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, That's yeah, why B Boy, B Boy City, and and um, Lord's, um, Floor Lord jams and all those jams. Just as long, we keep it raw. You know what I'm saying? It's up yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. You said you commented on for perfect. Sure. We, I mean, but basically saying you know it's, it's it was about putting food on your table. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so uh, there's pioneers that go many different ways. And I mean, we are pioneers. But as you as you said it, man, you literally got to stay grounded and it's got to be on an individual yeah. basis I mean, right right yeah. like but i think also, i mean i think yeah. the definition of like selling out is if you do something that you personally are not okay with so yeah. for, like so for, you know when you're selling out bro you know yeah, when yeah, yeah. you do something yeah. like what would your mom say <laughs> yeah like, what, for, like my mom like, don't know what i'm doing actually <laughs> yeah right would she right. say get your butt yeah, back so up like, what you know better <laughs> are the street right. lights on you should have been at home no, right, right. Like, yeah, yeah. you, you gotta know think about it right like yeah. I've, I've been on movie sets like for example i did uh in the heights and they try to make me wear like some shit that i wasn't comfortable with yeah, right. so i was just that. like yo this, i'm like you're saying me. me do you got yeah. anything else like it was like a fishnet tank top or some shit. Or, like that. Yeah. Hey, but I was hey, like, hey, hey, there are some yeah, crews the in the early two thousands, bro. <laughs> on, you yeah. kept the tank top, fishnet though. and no, eyeliner, no. dog. We don't forget. <laughs> we still got the tank top. We don't forget. Yo, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. wild. It was like some big, that shit will haunt like, you, bro. Overly baggy pants with yeah. like grandkids tank top <laughs> and like a bandana, and I'm like, yo, this like, if. For like, so, I, I already knew off off rip. I'm like, nah, I'm not wearing this. Oh, then you have to dark. You got anything else, bro? But also too, you wanna. You want to feel good as yeah, you're yeah, of course, man. I'm gonna feel like a fool in this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying in the movie, so yeah, you, you almost yeah. got Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. and they, they try to fight back too. They're like, oh, well, well can you wear the shirt? We'll switch the pants. Nah, I'm like, no, this is actually what I don't like. like yeah, it's the I was shirt. Like, I could rock with these pants, but like, it's the shirt. I'm not feeling it. Like the bandana, I wasn't yeah. really yeah. feeling it. I can see it. Uh, I'm not like a yeah, yeah. So. I can see it. No, there, but then there. they switched it. They put some other stuff on me, and I was cool with it. You're like, well, there you go, there you go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. a lot of people, if they're not from our culture, they don't know. They don't know how to dress us. They don't know what's cool. Yeah, you, right, right. Yeah, Sometimes like, they might be thinking that's yeah, fly. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you so, know, and then uh, so uh, like I said, it's, it's up to us to kind of show the next generation. We got to lead them right. right? Yo, yeah, so yeah, I want to yeah, talk about sure. that. I want to talk about that because we 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 we're talking about like you know breaking you know, now getting a bigger platform because of the Olympics. I agree with you. It's it's, it's just another lane, man. We created yeah. this yeah. this highway of lanes for breaking, for hip hop culture. It's just adding a new lane, right? If you don't like it, you don't gotta drive in it. Get out the way, exit, do what yeah. you gotta do. Mm -hmm. But I know even when I was coming up and, and like Rome- some balance. Yeah, Ro exactly. Yeah. Rome talked about like uh, it being commercialized, it being like, um, you know, exploited by the media and commercialism. Mm -hmm. uh, like keeping all the way 100 i never saw that like I, I i i heard about it i feel like it was almost ingrained into us like from the generations like in the 80s who 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 kind of 
dealt with that and then like almost misled us to some certain extent like don't fuck with them like yeah. don't do nothing commercial don't right but mm -hmm. i think our generation has experienced a lot of positive from doing commercial work yeah. whether it's like you say movies commercials yeah. tv shows uh putting food well, on the table we're, providing we're for your table than, we you, are, for your we family. learned a lot a lot of lessons yeah we, yeah, learned, we a learned a lot, lot so you know? now we're putting ourselves in positions right in the, in right. the culture in the production and then, and then i think too we got to take it to perspective that every generation is going to be better than the next and they're going to learn from them yes, because exactly. they learned from the generation yeah, before yeah, that yeah. so i think our generation like while we're why we are so accepting of like the olympics is because we already know like it's time to grow yeah, yeah. we are and, and we shouldn't fight growth we just need to like help facilitate it right and, like help guide the next generation to yeah. not make the same mistakes right. the generation before it did yeah, yeah. What, what's a you know i can't remember who, who said it but i mean quote wise it's like my my eyes have seen further than others because i've stood on the shoulders of giants yeah and right, so like right. you you personally had to experience it yeah. and then develop your own interpretation of it so i mean yeah exposure is everything yeah. but it's it's yeah. those that want to go out and actually extend the hand you know ex extend themselves you know actually not lead the culture but mm -hmm. carry it with you you just got to identify in that in that other cipher where you're rooted from you just just yeah. have to identify as and you just have to approach everything moving forward from where you're from i mean that way nothing gets misrepresented mm -hmm. i mean everyone feels it's going to get misconstrued or you know we're going to go down another way but these these pipelines these avenues these these streams they're they're all just opportunity for development yep right and right. i mean it the evolution voice, is yeah. going to happen yeah. whether we're sitting here or not yeah. and it will evolve into something whether we control it or yeah and, and insert ourselves in it or and it's going to happen regardless so we just have to make sure we can control what we can moving forward no that's a fact yeah, yeah that's a fact so you got the gold yeah, you know a b-boy city is gonna be put your gold up dog oh yeah you better come with this <laughs> gold right now this, saying, this is my house you know that's gonna happen all you gold medalists right let's hey, go y'all should y'all yeah. should get uh y'all yeah, should get your one. gold up bro yeah, i smoked the gold medalist in the cypher you know what I'm saying? that's <laughs> yeah. just gonna happen i just smoked right, it he right, didn't want to give it up though but here's the yeah. thing right yeah you still don't got a gold medal <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, so yeah, it's just yeah. like that, that used to happen to me at practice, man. I used to I used to run battles at practice all the time. People would get me in battles, beat me in battles, and be like, yo, I beat you at practice. I'm like, yeah, bro, but do it when it counts. It's like I was going, you know I, I like, did 60 yeah. rounds before you got there. I with you. you know? yeah, I yeah. Got, I, I did 60 rounds before you, know? you got there. You showed up, did three, and everyone said, Whoa. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I know there's mixed feelings, and it's kind of with anything, man, but, you know, I, I think sometimes, you know, for us, it's just uh, allowing us to have a voice on a bigger platform, you know? But I feel sometimes, some OGs, not all, but some OGs kind of have a chip on their shoulder where they feel now that it's getting this exposure and getting this platform, like they feel like something is owed to them, you know? Have, have, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, do you wh what do you think about that, man? Like, how do you feel about, you know, some people kind of, you know, I feel like we get pressed, like um, our generation gets pressured, like, like you guys owe, like you guys owe us. Like if, if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't get this, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, I think, I don't know because I'm still competing and I, I still kind of young or whatever. I don't really feel that, yeah. but I definitely see that. Yeah. And I, I and I know how how some of this you know like bitter OGs, and stuff like it's been around since the '90s. You know since what I mean? Forever. Like, yeah. You know, when I would go, when I would see these guys, like a lot of them, I got a lot of respect for. But I would see sometimes like how they think and how they're doing financially and how they move. Yeah. And I would look like, especially now, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't want to end up like that. Like, Facts. I don't want to be a bitter OG. Facts. Um, so for me right now, as some people consider me like a young OG, I'm kind of like still competing, but I'm like on my way out. Sure. So um, I'm looking at it like, well, am I going to be hating on these next guys or am I going to do what I can do to help help them? Yeah. You yep, know what yep, I mean? Yep, yep. And so I started a, a few years back. I started like even with Victor, like I seen how Victor was moving. I'm like, bro, you're winning everything right now. Yeah, you got to chill. Just one silver back. You just not that he got to chill. I told him to 
to start saving his money, yeah. start investing. Well, that's start, what I meant. I meant yeah, chilling yeah, I on the like, spending, bro. I seen him buying Gucci. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I'm like, yo, I knew what you I'm meant. like, I'm kind of like Victor's OG right now. <laughs> so yeah. I gotta like start telling him because yeah. I did made those mistakes where not that's even same. really mistakes, just like mm -hmm. living in the moment. Just living in the moment, but yeah. like I had this thing where when I would travel everywhere I would go, I'm a sneakerhead. Yeah, you gonna get so some kicks. So everywhere I would go, Japan, yep. London, whatever, I was yeah. buying exclusive yeah. sneakers. I did the same thing, bro. When I wish I would have been buying stocks investing, or, or, yeah, or investing you know yeah. like uh so i started telling him that and i put him onto that right you know early and he's doing it now yep. you know so i'm like that's my responsibility like to tell these young kids yeah. you know like you know don't do what i did you know do this yeah uh when you get a deal make sure you got a manager yep. and speak to you know just yeah, so exactly. they're better off than we were than, than we were yeah. you know because a lot of the ogs didn't really necessarily do that for us yeah. Me, I was lucky. I had Lino, I had Flo. Shout I had out to Lino. Good OGs, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean. I had, I had good yes. OGs. It's a, he got the the good OGs. <laughs> the good, yeah. I had bad good OGs. OGs. <laughs> no, no, yeah, let's let's like talk about that subject. I mean, I come from uh, in Austin and Texas. I, I'm gonna consider this as an OG. Um, You're good OG. Good OG. <laughs> good OG. <laughs> I was one of the good OGs, but my OGs, what, what I saw it, most of them, a lot of them, you know, just. Um, went to destruction a lot of them went to prison mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying got into yeah. gangs some of them died you know what i'm saying that kind of turned me around it's like i wanted a future for this so that when i see like people like omar and you and the younger generation taking it to that next level man i'm really appreciative like if it wasn't for you guys yeah they would be dead right. you know what i'm saying right. if it wasn't for the next generation or the youngsters lighting fires out there my fire down here wouldn't be lit you know what i mean so the more fires you guys are lighting up all over the world the more fire, you know, my fire down here is huge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my heart is full, you know? So I, re I see it as like, I can't do it by myself. Yeah, if yeah. I'm saying we're all gonna be OGs at one time, if there's no, there's no next generation holding the torch, the flame is gonna die. Yeah. Right, and I've right, seen right. it and die imagine, before. Imagine life without, without this. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. So like, uh -huh. I've seen it when there was, there was nobody doing it. You know what I mean? That's why I had to light that flame. And if we keep it, if you don't, if you hate on the next generation, they're just gonna move on to something else. Right, yes. right, You Definitely. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I love it when you're doing this, what we do in Marco, because it makes me better. My name is worth more. But if you stop doing it, mm -hmm. I ain't shit, yeah, bro. Your stock goes down too. Yeah, yeah, you know no, what I'm that's a fact, yeah. that's a fact. That's it, bro. Yeah, and it's, and it's unfortunate, like to answer your question, like um, I think a lot of us, we, we try to give back um to the ogs you know but a lot of them like burn bridges like the you know the, the whack ogs yeah let's be real we've given them chances you know yep. we've um red bull has given them chances um we hire them at our events and they you know they just do stuff that's unprofessional or whatever so it's like at some point a lot of a lot of the ogs um just didn't move professionally and just act like children sometimes yeah. you know what i mean it's yeah. like Yo, you're given an opportunity, take advantage of it, be professional, and more will come. Now you got OGs out here that are doing it right, that are busy, literally mm -hmm. more yeah. busy than I am. Yeah. Every weekend they're in Straight a different up, country bro. Yeah. doing things. Because mm -hmm. why? Because they're professional. Yep. They show up on time. Yeah. They they do their job. They're nice, nice to people. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They treat people right. You know what I'm saying? Like you got freaking guys like Mr. Wiggles every weekend. He's yep. gone. Book, Pop mm -hmm. and Pete, Storm. These guys, they're not complaining. I don't see them complaining. You know yeah. what I mean? Too busy. And also, they never stopped. Exactly. A lot of OGs kind of stopped. Yeah. Or they got into other things, yeah. and then they try to come back in the scene. And then when they try come to pick back up in where the they scene, left off. Yeah, they try to pick up where they left off. But then also they might end up doing some shady shit, and yeah. then it's like yeah. you got you got you got to have uh, love for the know? culture, man. You got to have love for it, bro. Yeah, you it, can't, have it can't always it can't always be about you. Yeah, you got to water the you plant, know? man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the fruit, for the tree to have fruits, so you got to right. you got to water it, yo. Right, you know that's saying? a fact. Love. That's, that's a lot of people been bro. been watering that's watering weeds. Yeah. It's the integrity, the love, the respect. I've always told myself that I'm like, yo, I'm I'm similar you to you, Pookie. Right, I'll do a few battles here and there, you know, now, but I'm like kind of like already thinking, all right, what's next? How can I help the next generation and, and you know, and what I do, you know? But I also think, man, like one thing I told myself at a young age is like, yo, I'm gonna stop doing this when I no longer love it, when I no yeah. longer respect it. Like have that integrity, right? 
yeah, and that's yeah. where I feel. I feel blessed, bro. I feel like you know I got a lot of opportunities, got a lot of shine. I have my time, and I'm like, yo, if I can have someone else have their opportunities, have their shine, like Rome said, keep that fire going. Mm -hmm. Keep the fire going. Let, you know, let the let let the next generation express themselves. Let right. them do yeah. the thing. Right. Stay out the way. I mean, I was at <laughs> practice. I was at practice yeah. the other day, and like some of the, some of the older generation from Flow Lords, they're like, um, they obviously they got they're now starting to get married, got kids and stuff like that, and um, so they're not showing up to practice as much no more. Yeah. And I had to explain to them, I'm like, yo, when you come to when you come to practice, I'm not expecting you to go crazy or go hard. Yeah. What I want you guys to do is just be here to help the next generation. Yeah. We got the kids you're, you're now. Appreciated just you're appreciated. Just be here, around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just be around them, help guide them. Throw down a little bit, but I'm not necessarily thinking you're going to, you know what I'm saying? Go crazy, <laughs> go off, win. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're like, all right, dope, dope. And then we got some of the old, older generation, too, that they're like, they're still hungry. Yes. So it's like, yo, if you're not hungry like that no more, cool. It's okay. I get it. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. But you yeah. still play a part, a position in yeah. the crew. Exactly. Your position is to help guide the next gen, you yes. know what I mean? Yes. And help show them what this crew yes. is about. Yes. And what we stand for. You still and, have you know, the knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, still ex have exactly. You. Even if your body can't do it, you still have the knowledge. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And That's the right. crazy thing is, some of them are still nasty as hell. Yeah. They just don't know how ill they are, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 But it's kind of yeah. like a pride thing. Like, man, I ain't done this in a minute. I don't know what I'm going to do, you know what I'm saying? So right, right, that's right. why they got to slowly get in there. But I think like they still, like all of us can play a part in it, you know what I mean? As far as like putting our experience in there. You know no, that's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. There's enough for, for there's there's enough roles for everyone to play a role, but the thing yeah. is you got to like find your role and then like contribute to, you know, by, with using that role, right? Using this platform, this art, this culture, you know, breaking dance, but you got to contribute something. That's how mm -hmm. I see it, man, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like we give to 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 dance, right? Don't get me wrong. We already you yes. know, we 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 gave to the dance yes. itself like creating or innovating moves and stuff like that right that's right. one thing inspiring yeah. people but for me it's like i think about my legacy as as a b-boy and i'm like yo people don't aren't really going to keep up with who created what move who innovated what move right but they will remember the impact that you leave on them like you said man yeah that could be true. just at practice bro right that's true you yeah. could see someone you could see someone running one of your moves from 10 years ago. They have no clue it's your move, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But then they take your workshop and they're impacted yeah, oh, by yeah, yeah. by your knowledge, bro. Your 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 essence, your presence of what you what you what you're teaching them, how you're telling them, and then that inspires them, you know. Right, right. Wow. So a lot of times I like to um I like to compare like breaking to rap and like hip hop. So it's like, you know, whoever created certain melodies or whatever, or even like sampling, you know, all that, somebody created that, you know what I mean? And now it just evolves into yeah, what yep. music is or what hip hop is today, even yep. though hip hop's a little bit different. You got <laughs> you got 90s hip hop, you got like trap. And, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, me personally, I think there should be like subsets of, of rap. That's basically yeah. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, but, um, uh, right, right. No, but, but what I was saying is like, you know, we invented moves, we mm -hmm. created moves or whatever. We can't expect kids that are like 10 years old to now know that, that. breaking yeah. to yeah. know that. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like if you know, you know, type of thing. If you right. if you're around some OGs or maybe your dad, would yeah. be like, yo, you know, that move, you know, <laughs> right. it, it's funny because like even now I was at my homie Panda's jam last year and this kid came up to me. He was like. He went in the cypher and he just did my whole set, <laughs> set. in front of me. Uh, no, that's it, yeah. But like good well, though. Looked at you, bro. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you you're like, you're like damn, like, bro, that shit was fire. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, damn. I'm like, I thought for a second, I was like, yo, the old me would be like pissed. Like, yeah, yeah. the new me is but like, the new me's like, yo, go ahead. So, so he like, looked at you. He yo, looked at you like first. Cover, yo, he made contact with you, and then he busted. He know where he got it from. He just did your moves like a cover song, bro. You know what I'm saying? But better. Yeah, it's a cover band crew. But I mean, I've been seeing some visions, man, where. Uh, 10 years from now, I, I like, I, well, I look at my kids, right? Because my son got into a crew now. And I was like, tw 10 years from now, he'll be 20, right? So I'm like, I'm preparing myself when all the studios in Austin will probably be teaching break it. And some mm -hmm. will probably take other people's workshops and they'll start be doing workshops in their own. You know what I mean? I know that's gonna right. happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, it needs to. It needs yeah. to. It, it need, I mean, it's yeah. you know, a lot of people are gonna be pissed off because oh, you ain't a real b-boy. We doing a workshop, but that it's up to the 
the students to to find the real masters. Yeah, that's yeah, when you do sure. your history and, and digging. And the studios to find the, the right teachers. Yeah, yeah, you gotta. Yeah. So that that's another. If you, that's if you another don't know lane. any better, if you're just a, a kid from the street or whatever, you want to learn breaking, and there's a hundred studios in Austin, there's a hundred instructors. So mm -hmm. it's up to the students to find the gold. Right. And that's right. kind of like that's what we have to stay grounded. Yeah. And you gotta exactly. be in the mix. It's up to exactly. us. That's, that's another lane. That's another, that's another lane. lane. Yeah. Though, too. Yeah. yeah. That's for the OGs. With the Olympics, it's like because I know it's coming. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna coming. see a lot more schools popping yes. up. So maybe maybe you are older, maybe you can't compete with the kids. I mean, you could open up a school. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, so but, that's but the like the OGs go. are needed because yeah. we don't want that legitimate style of breaking to disappear because it's gonna get watered down. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody in the mama is gonna take a workshop from you and the next thing you know, he's he's opened up a studio over there mm -hmm. doing same yeah. stuff you're teaching, but it's not the right But but but, but I think I think that's true, but I think normally those people weed themselves out after yes. a few years. You yeah, because like, they yeah. don't really understand the the essence, the culture, the history, the knowledge, right? So yes. yeah. you can only front for so long, yeah. right? Yeah. Like because but, a, a good student yeah. is gonna be like, hold on, dog. Like I went to this jam or I saw this yeah. person. I took this that workshop. Mean, yeah, that's why the, 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 the true teachers mm -hmm. and the in the jams gotta exist. That's why I can't disappear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't stop. Right, because if the OGs stop and then there's no, where are they gonna find the history? We're gonna find you know, the. We, we gotta do it at least until somebody, until you see somebody else step up. Yes. Yes. And then you can help them. Yeah. So you yes. can take a step back. So for example, you do B Boy City. The 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 breakers of Austin need that. They need that motivation. Mm -hmm. It motivates them. It brings other B boys, and B girls that the kids here might be like you know fans of and be inspired by um so that's why that's why we do flow lures because we're just yes. like trying to inspire you know like yeah some of the best in the world come out to compete at our jam yep. and we just trying to inspire like the breakers in our city to see like yo w what's possible you know but also to throw a quality jam yes. yeah because yeah. we have i mean we have a lot of like colleges in boston and and there's a lot of like college jams yes. which they're they're dope they're like well ran and stuff like that but there's a little bit of the essence missing from it you know so flow lord's anniversary we just try to like bring that balance yeah, the, 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 of like the, the, the raw, rawness the, yeah, of the like ciphers yes. call outs dope music uh mcs like edo g performed yep. last year m dot performed last year at our anniversary and um just a sense of like, okay, this is what a competition looks like. This is what a jam looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah that's why we gotta keep it, keep them going. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't mind the sports, but just as long, freestyle session, floor lords, b boy city, all these other raw jams keep it going. I'm okay with it. Right, you know? right. I mean, they're not going away though. That's yeah, the I thing. Like, <laughs> but that's that's yeah, that, that, that's the thing. Yeah, it's like. They're but some people think they're going away. Like, you know, they're gonna go, no. Man. No, I no, think man. I think you, I think, gotta have somewhere well, to tap. You gotta tap too, back into the roots. Like some man. Of, some of these OGs, like the bitter OGs, like, why don't you just become a promoter? You could be a promoter. You know, everybody complains about, you know, a, a cross one, and he's he's making Shout all out the cross. money or whatever. It's like, yo. <laughs> You don't know how much money Cross is making. Like, yeah. Yeah, you I'm know how you much money he lost over yeah. the years, I'm gonna or has right to put up, or, or I mean, has to put up. Exactly. Because I know, I know. We yeah, we know. <laughs> We've yeah, been doing. We know. Yo, yo, I've we been doing B Boy City for 25 since years. 2000, yeah. Since the year 2000. Yeah. 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 We lost money on the jam. Probably like the first 10, 15 years of that, you know. Yeah. And then uh, it's not till recently we start breaking even maybe yeah, or making yeah. a little bit yeah. of money you know it's not really about that for us exactly you know but you can create a brand for your jam and make sure that it's official make sure that you got dope judges yep. dope, dope djs dope venue and um grow it organically mm -hmm. from the bottom up and from then the you'll get there you know what i mean yeah. it's just a lot of times people try to throw jams they try to go really big too quickly, yeah, it doesn't work and then right. they lose a lot of money, and then they're pissed off. They dip, or, or oh, it's not worth it, man. Yeah, it's not it's, worth it. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's better off to start small. Yeah, you know, and then organically build. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of us freestyle session, b boy city, yep. we all started small, yep. and then people trust us. The community trusts us to throw a dope jam. Yeah. They trust that it's gonna be fly, that the music's gonna be good, that the venue's gonna be good. And they already know what we provide. 
Exactly. You know, so people are going to come and support that. Yeah. You know? And that's not going away, man. You know, that, that that's it's why I, that's why I'm like, yo, like now I feel like we created this new lane, right? Like, you know, breaking now is pretty much like a, a, s- a freeway, a super freeway, you know, like an, it's like an L.A. freeway with like eight lanes, bro. You know, there's <laughs> right. so mm-hmm. many options like mm-hmm. what you can do. You can weave in, in and out of lanes, right? You can. You know, you can be a competitor. You can, you know, uh, do panels. You can judge. Theater. You can teach. You can do podcasts. Theater, podcast. podcast. Yeah, we're doing it a podcast is. right now. Right? Yeah. Like, yo, we never, I never, you know, 10 years ago, I wasn't like, yo, nope. 10 years, not I want to do a podcast. Like, nope. You know? It was well, not, not, it, it was in my garage. There's yeah. even like a lane. <laughs> that was just you talking like, to yourself. <laughs> like, it's, it's dope when I see, like, when I, I judged BC1 last year and I seen, um, yeah, Ronnie Wicked and B Girl Roxy like commentating. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's a lane right there as yeah, well. Yeah. So, um, so I want to talk about that, right? Because we're talking about all these lanes, all these different opportunities. I, I I seen from within our own culture that there's a lot there's shade, man. Like, let's just be real. Like, I feel like yo, when I see someone doing that, like you're saying, like we see, you know, uh, commentators. I'm, I'll be 100 percent honest. I tell everyone. I'm not a fan of commentating and breaking. I just don't like it. That's just my personal preference, right? Mm-hmm. It's just like I don't like it during the battle. Yeah, yeah, same. But I don't mind the after battle interviews, yeah. Yeah. the pre battle right. interviews, and stuff but, like that. I think that's cool. But I think it's dope that breaking has gotten to a point where that can be created, and it's people from our yeah. own community. Yeah, that's right, what I'm saying. Right. And then we, we got, got the pe- naysayers. We like, have people. Why are people, they doing it? Yeah, we got we have people <laughs> in positions yeah. now. Yeah, you know? it's, a, it's like a, the, like Renegade was commentating. I seen Cross commentate yeah. and. Like, at least it's from our own community, you know? Yeah. And the thing is, you have to be involved, bro. If you want these opportunities, you got to get involved. That's exactly what yeah. I was going to say. A, a lot of these people who complain, yes. they're, they're not doing anything to change it. So, like, if you got an issue with the Olympics or whatever, like I said, throw your own jam. Right. Throw a raw jam so you can help bring balance. Right. But they're not doing that. No. They're or won't even anything. show up to They're support the on existing the internet ones. Complaining. <laughs> just yeah. on the internet. Yeah. It's like, did, where's the last jam you showed up to? How did you contribute to that jam? Did yeah. you right. pay to get in the jam? Right. Did you bring anybody with you? I mean, period. Yeah. I mean, right. did you share the event? Are you teaching kids? Yeah. yeah. Are yeah. you Yo, so exactly. setting up a new generation? Exactly. For, that? Yeah. You, uh, yeah. for you example, know. another lane. So I use breaking in the culture as my therapy. Like me and Roger, both firefighters, we do. We have a crazy job and dealing with a lot of. Crazy shit. Crazy stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I got some homies that are fire. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. trying to make a million dollars off breaking. I know. Trying to make two million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, give it my, away because that's my, how it happens. My way was to give back and that's over, you know, water the plant and let it grow, right? So for my son and the next generation to feed off of it and just mm-hmm. more opportunities. But for me, is I see it as my therapy. I've seen some crazy stuff. So me and him, our way out is through let's go let's go cipher yeah you know what i'm saying let's go to some jams go mm-hmm. see our own our, our community shake some hands you know see some, go teach some kids yeah. and that for me is my it's my lane it's my reward right you know what i'm saying right. i'm yeah. like in, in a way i can put some shade on something beautiful and something, something positive yeah right you know what i'm saying our people the way when they, they they used to look at us as thugs that you belong in prison you don't belong here kind of thing you know Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. because of breaking, I survived the academy and my the my, ment- uh, my mental strength from breaking and helped me. Yeah, with my fire yeah, academy same. and my fire life. Yeah, Even right. now, they're like, man, you're so positive and you're so humble and you're so, uh, you know, you just look at things different and you're so like strong. And I say, like, yeah, that's from breaking, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, All them yeah, years yeah, of battling yeah, and up. just. Getting that, hated on, and that's stuff. the thing. It, it, it <laughs> getting hated on, getting hated on for twenty years straight. It'll, it'll <laughs> it's like I, I think I'm, I'm, you up. I'm, we got leather, leather, leather pride. It's not know? even a joke <laughs> saying, you saying that you're battle tested. Thick skin, yeah, there, thick bro. Skin, bro. You have to do better than that. <laughs> yeah. It's not even a joke. I am battle tested. Because like even my, yeah. even with my parents, yeah. bro. Even your, your yeah. family, they're like, what are you doing? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, like, yo, I was all, we were on MTV without being MTV, and my mom was still, up. yep, still wasn't like. Okay, are you done with it yeah. now, Rome? I was like, no. When mom. are you all going to be on the BBC? <laughs> yeah. That's the question. Yeah, I mean, man. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? With, man. With the Olympics so, yeah. And you just all get hated on, like, bro. Like, <laughs> like, I remember, uh, like, speaking to Hong Ten, and I asked him, I'm like, yo, how, you know, how, how did, 
you know, in the beginning, like, how were your parents with breaking? You know, like for the Koreans and maybe some of the Japanese. Yeah, yeah, guys, yeah. That's a good question. Their parents weren't that supportive. Oh, no, so, you know, anything. until they saw the success in it. Yeah. So there's probably like a lot of other kids, which I know, you know, like yeah. a lot of parents come and ask me, like, yo, you know, what's what's the future for my kid in yeah. this? Like, why should I bring him to your studio yeah. to learn breaking? Why should uh, my kid put so much energy into this? Like, what's the end game here? You know. Yeah. And um, I got kids too, so I'm like thinking like, damn, that's a good question. Like, uh -huh. so with the Olympics, it at least like can put parents at ease. Like, yo, you know, it, it'll give more opportunity. I want to see, uh, you know, b boys like Victor and yeah. you know yo. Zeku and these guys to shine, shine yeah, yeah. and like Absolutely. sign yo, big deals and like, cause for example, guys like Omar, mm -hmm. myself, Roxwright, Morris, um. There was only a handful of us that were like traveling and actually like paying our bills with this yeah. and like barely paying our bills. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. And now things are like getting a little bit better for us. You know, we, we, yeah. we, we can make a little bit more money yeah. now. Only took us 20 years stuff. of work, bro. Yeah, it only, yeah. <laughs> it only took 20 years. Bro, it only <laughs> took like 20 work, plus <laughs> years what people don't understand to get there. You know, there's, there's some cats. OK, you were active for two years. I, I look at breaking like military, right? You were active for two years. Right? Yeah, right. You were right. active yeah. for two years. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you can talk and say sh talk shade on the person that's been active for 20 years. Yeah. Right, that's right, work right, right. Yeah, there's some on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Seniority there. Yo, yeah, yeah, it doesn't but like. Sure. But let's talk. Look, Pook. Yeah, the Olympics. You can tell parents like, all right, there's opportunities now. There's gonna be more sponsors, that type of stuff. But but this is what we do here in Austin, right? We right. talked about this a lot because of our own experience, how breaking developed us, right? Like how it influenced us. So. It's really using breaking, using hip hop as the tool to mold these kids, right? Mm -hmm. You, you're a father now. You you have your own children, right? So you want to be a, a good role model to your children, same as all of us mm -hmm. here. Be lead by example, right? Mm -hmm. So when you teach these kids, you become that mentor figure to to them, right? Just like Rome and Roger mentors to me, we become that mentor figure to them, and now we teach them these skills. You teach them how to be disciplined, how to be motivated, how to work hard, uh, you know, have uh, good confidence, man, uh, you know, deal with being nervous, like all of these things that they're going to use later on in life, bro, mm -hmm. right, outside right. of just breaking, right? right so right. you tell it's the parents, just about the yeah, breaking, yeah I'm yeah, teaching no. these kids yeah. life lessons, man, that they're going to, whether they break forever or not, and they're expressing themselves, bro, yeah. you know, yeah. in, in a generation now, society now, where so many kids and youth they're not active like we were They, You know, when I was little, I was running around till the lights yeah, came on, outside. bro. And then my mom's like, yo, come home, right? Yeah, we yeah. Nowadays, most Street kids are just inside. Playing video they're, yeah, games. Yeah, playing video yeah. games. They're, they're yeah. social through, through, through technology, through text, but they're not social in real life, right? Mm -hmm. right and when they right. come with us, we, ma we, we make them be social. They have yeah. to be social, right? Yeah. We tell our students, like, yo, you guys got to respect your parents. You got to have good grades. Like, breaking, doing this is a privilege. It's like... It's like playing a sport, right? Or it's mm -hmm. like, but not every kid likes sports. Kids like art. They like expressing yeah. themselves. They like being mm -hmm. creative, you know? And I think that's that's the the other power that, you know, teaching breaking has, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yo, so I'm blessed that my parents, the parents that, like, bring their kids to, they all understand that. Yeah. yeah. Yo, yo, yo the like, part, yeah. like, the parents love it's crazy. the academy, yo. Like, as far as, like, what we do with their kids. Like, we yeah. have one student, he was uh, linking his the, his confidence was just so shy now he's like he got a nickname b-boy wild man because he's just he's just <laughs> wild wild he's ready to battle anybody e yo even yeah. seeing that yeah, sometimes you know what I'm it's, it's, it's like, still crazy for yeah. me to process because my parents never seen me break until i was already a world yeah. champion bro i'm you know, like yo i had to go <laughs> across the world yeah. and well, win damn, like yeah. and yeah. then you were like oh Okay. You might, okay. You <laughs> might be pretty good at this. I'm like, what do you think I've been doing for the last? And then, like, then your pop said, yeah, now go out there and mow the lawn. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, now get yeah, now go, go the mow the lawn. Cut the grass. Cut the yeah. grass. Yeah. Yeah. You were up battling late till three in the morning at B-Boy City. There's I dishes know, in the up, sink. We can go work right now. Dishes in the sink. It's never good in it. Like, yo, I, uh, Victor won the gold of World Games. Took mm -hmm. a picture, showed it to my mom. She goes, it ain't the Olympics. Not yet. Never good Not yet. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Let, let's let's talk a little bit, man. You know, you've been on the, you 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 know, you've traveled a lot, man. You've competed, ups and downs. I'm sure, man. You know, now you know, being a father, right? What is how has your mentality changed and 
your approach changed now that you know you're a father you know you have children you have a wife how, how, how has you know that changed you as a as a b-boy but really as a man you know yeah i mean uh, obviously kids <laughs> kids <laughs> change their they're life expensive sure. <laughs> that man yeah, that, um, that kicks in no i think i mean the, the the main thing it just like changes my my schedule i gotta be yeah. more on point with scheduling i gotta be more on point on um just like everything like even how i act react yeah. how i speak to my wife in front of them yeah. how i the music i listen to yeah so it changes everything but the, the main thing that's changed is like i'm no longer like doing like one month euro tours and stuff like i don't do that i try to purposely pick and choose where i go yeah. the things i do the battles i enter it has to be worth it for me now because like time yeah. with my family is yeah. everything you know that's like the most important um it's just time with them yeah mm -hmm. so even like when my firstborn when jordan was born is my son's name too jordan yeah um jordan. when he was born i made it like i didn't travel for the whole first year yeah uh, I, I, I travel a little bit, but I was like mad paranoid to like miss his first steps, you yeah, know, miss yeah. his first words and yeah. stuff like, you know, that's the first firstborn. Um, so, yeah, so I, I, I was home, luckily for, for all of that. Yeah. I got to see his first words and his first steps and also same with, with my second born. You know, I've been traveling a little bit more because the yeah, second yeah. born, you're a little bit like, more you know, chill. The, you know, the deal, you yeah. know, the deal now, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just like making, making sure that you're home for birthdays, holidays, yeah. um, things like that. You know, is the the, the major part. And yeah, we just yeah, talked so about that's that. A good, just trying good, to be a better yeah. father, man. Yeah. A better yeah. dad, just fatherhood. Better father. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's got to make but you feel that's, good, that's though. That's man. a big deal for someone like you, and you know, all of us are here, all fathers. Of us. Yeah. yeah, right. Because yeah. uh, my father wasn't around when I was growing up, so yeah. Yeah. I, us breaking that cycle right just like us being there for our kids showing the uh, being men yeah being men and taking care of responsibilities and still being able to like you know be with our our, our passion you know and yeah it's the side of, i think it's the side of us that a lot of people d aren't always exposed to or see right it's yeah. kind of like you know your home life right and then like you know you post on social media you know like yes for me i think about it sometimes i don't know if you, if, if you guys have ever thought about it but i think about sometimes my social media feed is filled pretty much every day with people from all over the world or my friends traveling all over the world, like mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. you know? Friends who have traveled 30, 50, 100 plus countries, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's normal. But then I think of like everyday society and it really isn't that normal. It is not. It is not. Yeah, it's not it's normal it, yeah. To, yeah, to, to be traveling that way. So I'm always grateful, you know, but then I think back and I'm like, that's, that's the version of the world you know, that's the version the world sees of us, right? Like, yo, I'm just sitting here, go ahead and tell no. LA, heading to no New man. York, Paris, no. whatever, right? Yeah. But then they don't see us being like who we really are majority of the time. It's yeah. just, right. you right. know, what, what do your kids call you, man? I'm just dad. Yeah. yeah. So daddy. they don't see, they don't see like, you know, yeah. El I mean, Nino. I mean, my they don't older see dad, son, he kind of you know? knows, like he tunes in to the, to some of the live streams and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. he loves it. I mean, he's more into like basketball and video games right yeah, now, but it's summertime, so I bring him to the classes. He sees I it. want him to get more into it. Yeah. Like, he told me the other day, he's like, "Yo, Dad, I want the windmill. Like, you, you want the windmill? You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta learn a six step. No, he's got, he's got a six step. He got all that, but he wants like spins now. Like, yeah, he wants to spin. Okay. I'm like, bro, you gotta, you know, you gotta practice your stab. You know what I mean? Yep. And then, I mean, he kind of got it a little bit. He got like a little half a windmill going on. You know? <laughs> That's dope, bro. But um, but yeah, yeah, it's 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 true. Like, our feed is like mostly you know we're, we're like traveling the world, doing this, doing that. But yeah, obviously, we got a whole family life side yeah. to us, you know. Yeah, but I, you know, that's for me. That's always been like when I when I became a father, I was the same way like you, man. I I envisioned how I wanted to be as a dad, and I wanted to be there and be present, you know, mainly because my dad wasn't right. Don't get, my dad always been involved in my life, love him. He was just always working, bro. And when he wasn't working, he was with his friends, you feel me? Yeah, and so yeah. I was like, yo, I can't be out of town and missing all those things because I'm never gonna get them back, you know? So I know exactly what you feel. And I think, you know, as some of us grow, mature, have children, that it becomes our responsibility, not only to be like giving good advice about breaking and hip hop and 
contractual deals and having managers and all these things, but saying like, yo, man, like don't forget your priorities. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. yo, this is dope. We won this battle right now, bro. But get your finances in order, you know? Go home, take care of them kids, be a good dad, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and, and, sure. and, I, and I wanted just to bring that up because I want people to, to know that side of you as well, bro. Yeah. You know, that you're yeah, a father. I, think, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. How I think do, one how of you the, know? I'm 32, I just okay, turned bad. 32 July 6th, so like yeah. a couple weeks ago. Bad, bad. But um, yeah, I think uh, while, so I've been with my wife for a while. We, we weren't married at the time, but I missed so many like Valentine's days birthdays her birthday is november 26th so bc1 the world final yep. is always around that <laughs> yeah, time yeah. So or freestyle I, session I, I, bro. I it, <laughs> yeah. or freestyle session so the i missed a, a lot of her birthdays yeah. she's like i like this you know what i mean really so like this. yeah so once once we had kids like damn i gotta be a little bit more fair yeah like i can't just be like globe trotting and it changes you know things I mean? like, yeah, we, we all want to see the the fruits of our labors man i mean we've all done things we're all going to continue to do things as men i mean our careers i mean but the family is something that literally you you may or may not and we got to be accepting as men just to be like look we're, yeah. we're not going to see everything that we're putting in all the work that we're putting yeah. in it's going to come so far afterwards that we just got to instill what we can in any and all that we pass especially our own kids Right, and you right. got to start early. You got to yeah. start early. So, I mean, we can take that same thing in our house that we do outside the house, and it, it should be the exact same thing. Think about all the energy we put in with all these kids mm -hmm. that aren't our kids and yeah. the culture and the protecting of it. It's the same thing. But you handle your home life. People think it's differently. But you handle your home life the same way you handle your responsibilities outside. It's just on a bigger scale yeah, and vice yeah. versa. So, like... 10 years after you are no longer dancing or not walking this earth it's like what have you done what footsteps who's willing to walk or attempt to walk in your footsteps what did you leave behind not only in dance but for your seeds mm -hmm. so right, right. we we are as men it's very hard to accept that man i i may not get to see this it's like nah i, I want it now like i i have health strength in my body i mean i got yeah. you know whether you're god fearing whether you're not it doesn't really matter you're not gonna be here forever so right, right. and the culture may or may not be how it was when you entered it your family may be different when you're gone yeah. like we just have to just keep pushing you know what we know is right i mean you've got the torch now with the community we're all sitting here talking about what brought us together what are you gonna do with it I mean, is yeah. it going to be you You want it to glow or do you want to just preserve it? Either way, it's still going to be burning. I mean, this sport has gone underground and will continue to ride that wave. It's like life. And the fact yeah. that everything is going to repeat itself. I mean, we say it all the time. History is this. History is that. We are living proof of yeah. that just with the three of us. And then the fact that he's sitting here, it's going to keep repeating itself. Yeah. Right. So Definitely. where are we going to be? in the pitfalls where are we going to be at the peaks you know how are our families going to be adapting to this control what we can man i mean i'm i'm just i'm glad that like you are who you are within the scene Thank i you, mean brother. we we Never have been it. able to watch you grow that's literally. not something that literally that, that, yeah and like <laughs> literally yeah, saw, for you saw to be sitting grow. here and for us to be able to have this opportunity just for the next person as long as we keep you know doing what we can and supporting what we can and pouring ourselves yes. into the people yeah. we just so, need we need 10 yeah. percent of what we do to stick yeah, the 90 percent of it can overflow and wherever it goes it goes yeah. it may not last but if we just stay strong and just stay you know on that path right I, I'm, I'm just thankful to see where it's at now yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. like me too yeah very yeah. very thankful for it's all a long time that coming are, yeah. are yeah. still yeah. active and still supporting you know what i'm saying if you're not supporting support now you know what i'm saying we need your support you know what I mean? We need more good than hate. That's yeah. What, you know, we need yeah, more good than sure. hate. Like, Poop. I got one last question. Yeah. You got? <laughs> hold on, hold on. He 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 I, called. He said poop first. So <laughs> this is coming from somewhere. Yeah. Uh oh, bro. Well, we talked a lot, man. Thank you for being here, man. Being on our podcast, you know, it's dope to to, to have the conversations, you, you know, and and us just exchanging, man. You know, uh, there's no difference, man. If, if we were grabbing, you know, beer or having lunch together, you know, but we're on a podcast so you know you're still young man you definitely have you know years you know to compete and everything but what 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 do you if you know now for breaking for hip-hop culture 
what what do you want your legacy to be oh that's a good question um you know i mean i think i think um the legacy it's it continues right mm -hmm. but the the main thing i mean obviously all of us want to be known as like one of the best you know to ever do it and whatnot check but you for, got that for bro. me yeah <laughs> I, I mean i think at one point you know what i mean I, I you know i think i did everything i could do you know as far as like competing yeah. and and making my mark in the b-boy world as far as dance goes um so now i'm, I'm at this point now where i just want to be remembered as like um kind of like kind of like how my uncle float is remembered yeah. you know just a, a good dude that always try to help people good and try OG. to help the next generation yeah. Yeah, good old, good OG, you mm -hmm. know, like I want to be loved by the community because that's that's what was around me that, you know, uh, right. that's how my uncles were. They were never like they always helped. Yeah. They were selfless. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of how I grew up. Um, so that's like my next goal is to just like mm -hmm. be remembered as like, yo, Pook was one of the illest to ever hit the floor. But also, he was a dope human being. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? period. That's Facts. that's what what I'm working on. You know. Yeah, I mean, I think um, that's what we all strive to be. You know, what I'm saying that to be a better person, to be a better person yeah. than we were before. You know, what I'm saying always trying to. I mean, that's like, I'm I'm like, what, 15 years older than you, man. You know, what I'm saying so. You know, that, like yeah. that boy old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you see like, me? You know, what I'm saying, do you see me? You know how I'm forever living, young, you know? forever, forever fresh, fresh baby. Forever My mind fresh. is always. My mind and my heart is always forever fresh. You know what I'm saying? I always look to God, my family, and my peoples and my culture. You know what I'm saying? I'm always, my thing, they're like, why do you want to be a firefighter? I said, like, with breaking, it saved my life. I'm still here continue helping kids and the next generation, helping them, saving their life by leading them to the right way. Now you're saving lives. And now in the front for lines, real, for saving real. lives. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I want to do. Touch as, touch, as, touch as many people as I can, help as many people as I can. I think one person at a time if you contribute to do good yeah i mean right. i know it's like it's make a world a better place but then like we could start about by each you know each one of us doing that each yeah. one yeah teach definitely one. Yep. definitely yeah. Pook, Word. it's been a pleasure to have you Word. Yeah, yeah, man. Podcast, Likewise, brother. thank y'all for having yes, me yeah. 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 appreciate you man. appreciate y'all. you brother man let's go Welcome, get this brother. workshop in appreciate y'all yeah, yeah. yeah now it's time to teach the kids yeah. you know what I'm saying? yeah Yo, don't forget, the workshop, guys. Workshop, got the park jam. We got, yeah, we got yes. a workshop right now for El Nino. Then we're heading to the park jam, Waterloo Park. Don't forget, Austin 6th and 7th. We got BC1 Austin going down at ACO Live. Go yeah. to redbullbc1.com, buy your tickets. They're only $10. $10 we out. tickets. We out. Yeah. We out. Peace. Peace. We out. Peace. Peace.